Hello one and hello all, and today, uh, a bit of a break from Dinosaur Island. Uh, I, I say a bit of a break, and I do kind of mean it, uh, because the next video I plan uploading will be more Dinosaur Island, but uh, I decided to take a little bit of a break from it, because, you know, I've kind of, it's been the one thing I've uploaded for the past week. <laughs> Took a bit of a break from Dinosaur Island, like three days, and you know, I said a bit of a break, as if I didn't have a 60 year break between episodes, but you know. Uh, that break was because, uh, I was just busy over the weekend anyway. Uh, today's video, still about dinosaurs, <laughs> uh, but, uh, real dinosaurs, not toy dinosaurs, ooh -hoo. So basically, uh, in the summer of 2022, not 2022, it's not even summer yet, <laughs> the summer of 2020, <laughs> uh, in the summer of 2020, me and my parents were just full-time RVing in this year RV. <laughs> And one of the things we did was this uh, thing called Hell Creek Fossils, like the Hell Creek Fossil Dig. So basically, here's what it is. So it's this thing in Monmouth, North Dakota, which, by the way, uh, if you've never heard of Monmouth, North Dakota, understandable. It has like 100 people in it, and basically all of them are ranchers, except for like the dude, except for, like five people who like run the boy, and a couple people who like run the gas station, which is also the supermarket, which is also the uh, hair salon, which is also the... <laughs> There's like three buildings in town. Uh, pretty boring town, all things considered. It's in North Dakota. It's only relevant because of this healthy fossil dig thing. So basically, on um, there we go. So basically, uh, <laughs> uh, the healthy fossil thing. It was these two paleontologists who uh, live in South Dakota. In the Black Hills, yeah, they live like an hour away from where I live nowadays. So uh, that's pretty sweet. If I wanted to meet them. Uh, they have my contact information, or at least one of them does. Uh, as you know, he called me yesterday. <laughs> anyway, so basically, uh, it's this thing where for six weeks, they essentially just take out groups of people to just do just straight up paleontological work, like dig sites, find them fossils, dinosaurs, other creatures, you know. It's just that for six weeks. Specifically, like, each week has, like, a different set of people. Uh, the maximum group size is like 15 to 20 people, basically, in that range. It goes from mid-June to the end of July, so, yeah. And I was a part of it, so I would now like to share my experience. So, first of all, uh, I had to pay for this trip. It's like 2,000 bucks. <laughs> About, it was like three or four years of allowance I basically sinked into this trip. <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we went, and it was eight day experience. So the first and last days was basically just meeting everyone and leaving everyone. So it's really only the the six middle days that are of any real importance. I'll mention the people who were there. So obviously it was me and my parents, uh, but only me and my mom did actual paleontological work. Uh, Dad just stayed home and uh, did random stuff, I guess, the other day. Kept himself busy, though there was one day where he did, uh, come out. Still didn't do any paleontological work, he just did some filming for a YouTube channel. Uh, and also for the Hell Creek Fossils, so that they could make, like, a promotional video, which they did end up doing, so... Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple interns, Justin and Harry. They were right, I guess. Uh, there's the two paleontologists themselves, Adam and Jim. They were pretty sweet. Adam looks like Chris Pratt, to be honest. But, like... Chris Pat, if he actually took up a job as a paleontologist, like if his character in Jurassic World was an actual paleontologist, that'd be Adam. <laughs> and I'm not the first person to make that distinction. Plenty of people have apparently called him in the past, like, dollar store Chris Pratt. <laughs> I was a bit nice, so I just called him Chris Pratt if he was an actual paleontologist, but anyway. Uh, and those are the people that we, uh, did the dig with. So there's these two dudes from Texas, like a father son combo from Houston, father worked at NASA, that's pretty sweet. Uh, this lady named Lynn, she was, she was fun. I uh, didn't do, didn't do a whole lot because the car like broke down, so she spent most of her days just trying to get a dang car fix, but you know, understandable. Uh, there's this random lady, I forgot her name, but you forget what, I don't think I've interacted with her. There's a dude named Josh, uh, he was pretty cool. 
there was one night where he got kind of drunk and philosophical with me, so that was something. <laughs> uh, and there was this older couple, couple, I don't know why I said that so weird, and Mike and Linda, and, you know, they were fun. That's basically everyone. So, day one, meeting everyone. Day two, <laughs> Uh, it was me, my mom, Adam, the older couple, and Lynn. So basically just all the old people. <laughs> so we went out to a spot. I found my first fossil where I randomly just picked it up off the ground. And I was like, hey, what's this? Adam's like, that's a turtle shell. And I put it back down. I was like, okay. Uh, what a fun first story. So then we got to the actual site. And he was like, okay, here's some plastic bags. Here's a hill. There's fossils on the hill. Fill up this plastic bag with what you think of fossils. It's mostly turtles and fish. Uh, kind of boring, to be honest. Most of the stuff just tiny like little white specks, like bone fragments. With like I don't know what this is, probably a bone. <laughs> and turtle shells, I learned what turtle shells look like very quickly. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Cause like for those of you who don't know, these used to be an ocean cutting through the middle of America. So basically, what's now the Great Plains? Yeah, the reason why it's so plain that was an ocean floor at one point. <laughs> so there's lots of fish, turtles. Crocodiles, that type of stuff. So eventually, Adam just took everyone else and was like, hey, we're just gonna walk around, find some, see if we can find some fossils. There's this little nub sticking out of the ground, like, inch or two tall nub. See what that is. Hour and a half later, he comes back, he's like, holy crap, it's a freaking Amontosaurus jaw. It was approximately three feet long, or if you're a scientist, a meter. Ooh. <laughs> so that was honestly the coolest thing I found, to be honest. Uh, quick spoiler. Nothing really tops it. <laughs> day one was probably the best day. <laughs> uh, anyway, so moving on from that. Uh, day two. Uh, it was me, Jim, Mom, Mike, and Linda. Uh, Lynn couldn't make it, so, yeah. Like I said, call trouble. <laughs> so I we went out to the Triceratops site, and I might be thinking, ooh, a Triceratops, that's cool. Eh, wasn't as cool, because someone else already found the dang thing, you know, so it's like, we're just digging around it so that another goop could come in later and get it out. <laughs> but hey, I found a I found a leaf fossil. I still have it. I don't have it like with me right now, but I have it. I found it. Jim put some like paleontologist glue on it so that it wouldn't fall apart. Put in like a little bag, and I still have it. So yeah, it's a fossil I got to keep. You do get to keep fossils, by the way. If it's something that's really boring and has quote, no scientific value, then, yeah, she can keep it. Like, random leaf. <laughs> they even sell some fossils. Like, if you go to the website, hellcreekfossils, like, dot com, or dot org, I can't remember what it was. Just type in hellcreek fossils on Google, it should be the first website that pops up. But they have a thing called a fossil market, where they're just selling bones that, as they describe, don't really have any value to them. It's like, eh, it's just random tooth we found, it's kind of cool. Doesn't really help scientists at all, but, you know, it's a tooth, you know, why not? Who wouldn't want a T-Rex tooth for a couple hundred bucks, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, the day was pretty boring. Uh, but I should mention, Jim does bring music with him. I have a window open, it just like a buzz, that's why I paused there. Anyway, so, yeah, Jim brings, like, a, a boombox and, like, music, so, yeah, that's always nice. Uh, next day, next day, honestly, kind of sucked. <laughs> it's because of the weather. I should mention, the Badlands in North Dakota, weather's awful. It's like 90 degrees every day, but you don't think it's going 90, because you have to wake up like 6, 7 a.m. for this stuff. But it's like 50, 60 degrees in the morning. So you're prepared, you know, you're like wearing like, maybe like a bomb well, from Florida, so I was wearing jackets. <laughs> Uh, but like you, you going out, you're like wearing like long sleeve stuff, you know, pants, jacket. Uh, I didn't have this kind of hat yet, so I was just wearing my standard hat, but still. You're doing all that, and then once you actually get out to the spot, it's like 80, 90 degrees, super dry. They're bringing like five coolers of water with them. <laughs> no clouds, and very little wind. So, just letting you know. The weather was a major factor in lack, in lack of enjoyment for some days. Like today, for example. So, day three. It started off, it was me, Adam, Mom, obviously. 
uh, two Texas dudes, and Linda. So we went out, and it was like, okay, here's a hill, here's a bag, find bones. You know, same thing as day one. Found plenty of garlic scales, because, yeah, we store garlic, that's the thing. Found plenty of those. Uh, so I found enough to record an entire guard body, if it felt like it. And I also found a Champs of Swords group. So for those who don't know, Champs of Swords is a pre store crocodile. Uh, by my standards, it's free land crocodile, but hey, it's cool that it's an old pre store crocodile. So I found a rib of that. That was the cool thing I found that day. Anyway, then lunch happened. Then after lunch, it was just cool. Here's a chisel. Here's a hammer. Chisel out basically like a staircase like shape in this mountain. <laughs> for the next like three hours. That sucked. And yeah, this is where the weather really became a factor. Because the wind, there was no wind, up and until you had to toss some dirt out of the way. Because, you know, clearing your workspace to see if you can find fossils, you know. So you had like a dustpan, toss it out, wind would blow it back in your face and then disappear. <laughs> well, one time the wind took one of our freaking like knee pads. <laughs> so yeah, day, day three, not the best, most because of weather. Uh, day four, we went back to the Triceratops. I didn't find a leaf this time. <clears throat> We plastered it up a little bit. That was kind of fun. Pretty messy, but fun. And uh, I also found a turtle shell. Much more complete turtle shell than the last batch. And I also found a... Raptor tooth. No idea what species. If I had to guess, maybe Dakota Raptor. I don't know, because I was in North Dakota. But, you know, it's just identified as a dromaeosaur, which is the scientific way of saying a raptor. So I found a raptor tooth. My mom found a stingray tooth. Yeah, very random. Because what do you believe? This was another day. It was like, here's a bag. Here's a hill. <laughs> By the way, it was uh, me, mom, Mike, Linda, and Jim. And we also did some prospecting, which prospecting is, in plain logical sense, just walking around hoping you found a bone sticking out. <laughs> Uh, basically. And what well, we did, we found like a random theropod, like, it was a small one though, it wasn't anything uh, too epic, like it wasn't like a T-Rex or something like that, you know. But speaking of T-Rex, uh, the next day someone found a T-Rex. <laughs> so basically what happened was, uh, the kid from Texas found a T-Rex tooth. It was like solid, like three, four inches, had an ammo, it was in good shape. They were like, oh crap, that's an awesome find. You're not keeping that. <laughs> But where'd you find it? Oh, you found it there? Cool. Alright, boys. We're taking the whole squad out. <laughs> to this one spot to find more T-Rex stuff. Uh, and, uh, well, like I said, got everyone out there except for the intern, Justin. Uh, he still had to make food. So, he stayed back. <laughs> he had to make his dinners. <laughs> But everyone went out, including Eric. Like I said, this is the one day where Eric came out, like I said. It was just to get footage, but still. If you want to watch the video, it's on the Whitley's on the Wild channel. Uh, it's pretty long, though. Just keep that in mind. Uh, it's 13 minutes. Then again, my video is longer than that now. I think we just patched the threshold. <laughs> and we went out. I spent most of the day just working on, like, a random vertebrae. Don't know what species it was. It was just a random vertebrae. Uh, the day was... I had this cool feeling of climacticness, even though it was the second last day, because, you know, it was the thing of, everyone's going out, we're going to find a T-Rex, you know. And so I'm obviously not going to mention everyone I was working with, because it was literally everyone. <laughs> but we were split out into, like, a few groups, you know, the Texas dudes and Harry were, like, working on, like, a turtle or something. Uh, the random lady and Josh were, like, working on a hadrosaur, and the rest were also working on, like, these, like, vertebrae, uh, which I don't think we've identified the species of. And funniest thing happened. Me and mom were looking out. Again, the weather was pretty bad. And we were looking out. We're like, oh, wow, look, a cloud. The one cloud in the entire sky. And it vaporized before our very eyes. <laughs> and the only place with any type of shade was this random bush. that was like a five-minute walk away that had ticks. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then there was, what was, right. Last day. Last day we were supposed to go back to the Triceratops, uh, plaster some more. But they're like, eh, we'll do this quick stop in this one spot before we do that. It was me, Mom, Jim, and the Texas dudes. So we went out, 
He was like, okay, Texas dudes, you work on this man and bone we found. Uh, me and mom, Jim. I and Jim was just kind of like going back and forth between the two of us. He was like, here's this random bone we found. Here's a random bone we found. You two get to work. <laughs> in each of his respective bones. And then Jim very quickly found out that the bone that me and mom were working on was a skull. And he was like, holy crap, it's a skull. And then he basically just like, get out of the way. I'm working on this. And then we just kind of sat there and watched him. <laughs> Uh, so that was fun. Don't know if Species was supposed to guess probably had just but like, no idea. <laughs> uh, lost, lost my scalpel while working on this. Like, it just barely found a hole and disappeared. <laughs> so yeah, uh, then like I said, last day we just left. Uh, so, that was my experience at how quick. Uh, pretty fun. The only thing that I would change would be the weather. <laughs> if it was like 60, 70 degrees out, maybe some clouds, you know, decent bit of wind, then okay, yeah, it'd be pretty fun. Unfortunately, it was 90. <laughs> no wind, no clouds, no shade. It was in the Badlands. So, uh, the, the weather definitely bogged it down some. But when the weather was nice, and you, you didn't even notice the fact that it was like 90. <laughs> Because, you know, Montessori's jaw, you know, that was, like I said, probably the coolest thing I did the entire time. Uh, they haven't sold the jaw, so that's nice. <laughs> These I don't think they have. I don't think, I don't know what the status of the jaw is. I don't know if it's still on the ground or not. Uh, if I ever go back there, I'd like to ask. <laughs> but anyway, that's my experience with that. So, uh, overall, pretty fun. Quick checklist of all the stuff I found, like all the definitive creatures that I found. Uh, random fish, random turtles, that was like a given. Uh, specific species, we got a Montosaurus, again, probably the coolest thing I found. Uh, what else was there? A couple of random leaves, because on day one, I forgot to mention this, they did take us to an area that had a lot of leaf fossils, and I think I found one there too, but overall, overall that was very forgettable, hence why I'm only just now remembering it. <laughs> But Montosaurus, a couple leaves. Uh, if you want to count the Triceratops, which I don't really count it, but you know, whatever. Uh, fish, turtles, uh, Champsosaurus, Gar, uh, uh, random Theropod, Dromaeosaurus, Stingray, another random turtle. Like I said, a lot of turtles. Uh, <laughs> that vertebrae I was working on. No idea what species it was. If I had to guess, probably a Hadrosaur. But hey, it could have been T-Rex, who knows. T-Rex is actually pretty common. Covenant and Triceratops. I don't know. I just know that it was a big, chunky vertebrae. So it was probably a T-Rex, a Hatchet, or a Triceratops one of those three, most likely. And then the last day, an unidentified skull, if I had to guess, probably a Hatchet, or so. Uh, yeah, that's all the stuff that I found. Pretty cool. I'd recommend you do it. It was like from mid-July, sorry, mid-June to late July couple thousand bucks if you've got that much money so i'm pretty sure the number does get higher with each with the amount of people you have i had to pay two thousand dollars for me and my mom that's an adult and a 16 year old at the time was i 16 or was i 15 that was one of those two i think i was 16 crap no i was 15 okay never mind <laughs> you get the idea so uh yeah that's about everything so if you've enjoyed this video uh you can leave a like subscribe if you like it well, you can leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Relix5. Uh, I don't know why I still plug that Instagram. I made it private. <laughs> anyway, and uh, until next time, I'll see you later, buddy. Like I said, next episode's probably coming with Dance Violence, so. Uh, that's been really popular, so yeah, this is just a quick break from that, so. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>